symbols, formulae, and equations. Dad, the encyclopedia says that everything on our Earth is made up of atoms. That is right, dear. But Dad, our teacher said that everything around us is matter. Well, your teacher is also correct. I am so confused, Dad. Actually, matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. If all matter has atoms, then why is one substance different from the other? That's because different materials have different types of molecules. Molecules? Yes, atoms often combine to form molecules. The smallest particle of a substance that has all the properties of that substance is called its molecule. Oh! Let me explain this to you through a few examples. Do you know that the water which we drink contains both oxygen and hydrogen? Aren't oxygen and hydrogen gases, Dad? They are. Let us learn about oxygen. Oxygen gas is made up of oxygen molecules. Each oxygen molecule has two oxygen atoms. Such molecules which are made up of only one type of atoms are called elements. Then why is water different from oxygen gas? That's because each molecule of water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Molecules like water, which are made up of more than one type of atoms, are called compounds. It's interesting, Dad. Now, son, as one element is different from another, each element is given a different name for its identification. To make things easier, each element is assigned a specific symbol, which is derived from the name of the element. A symbol is a short representation for the name of the atom that forms the element. These symbols are called atomic symbols. So all elements around us have different properties. Yes, and on the basis of their properties. All the elements are arranged in a table called the periodic table. Every element occupies a fixed place in this table. I learned so many new things about the elements around us. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>